second here. Go. Um, all right. So this is the hat hoop. Um, <clears throat> basically, this is the lid. Um, this is to strap in the lid. Um, this thing can take a little bit of getting used to. Um, uh, it has to be on perfectly. Um, you basically just slide it on. And, I mean, it took me a couple tries to understand the fluidity of it, but once you understand the fluidity, it goes on pretty quickly. Um, so, put this down. This is a brand new hat. Um, I'll just show you all the entire process. Um, brand new hat. Um, you want to take the lid out or the, the um, little sweat ring, whatever this is right here. Um, and you want to put that underneath this lip. There's a little red line. So you get it underneath there. You take this thing, take this thing over and snap it in. And there's a little red line right here that you wanna try and line up with the center seam of the hat. Lock her down. And then bring this bill catcher stabilizer thing over and snap off and then for stabilizing I use a medium tear away and this is basically my process is I take a little bit of spray adhesive not much at all really um, it, it stays in the hat pretty well. Press them together. Um, just kind of get it in there as flat as possible. You're doing this to stabilize the fabric. You're doing this to stabilize the fabric so when the needle starts punching in, it has something to grip besides like the unstructured cotton, especially on a cotton that's um, rounded, concave, convex, whatever it is, outside. So you want this to be as flat as possible, basically, because it, if it's not, it'll, it'll pinch and pucker. Um, so you just get it in there. Um, load this onto the hat. And you got to kind of, you got to be careful because the needle's right here. So I kind of go in between these little, this little bridge here. Just slide carefully. Just make sure you're careful. And then, I'm used to sitting down and doing it. It snaps in. Um, make sure that the needle and the seam are as center as you can get. I don't stress too hard on that um, because you can fix it in here. Um, <clears throat> But if you're within the two little threading pieces, I mean, you're, you're pretty much center. Um, it's all good. All right. This is a USB cable that comes with it. Um, it hooks into the side. You have two. You either have a, um, you have a USB drive or a USB power drive or whatever. And then a USB connection to the computer. Um, and we'll just do, um, Albert Einstein today. Um, this machine, all brother embroidery machines read a dot PES file. Um, that's another lesson. Drag it into the F drive. That's the external drive for this. And now you're done. Um. Now you're just working off this tab. You go to the computer um, connection. There's your image. Click your image. You have all these do ads in here. I'll let you play with all that. Um, you hit set. And if you're ready, you hit embroider, embroidery. When you hit embroidery, it, it automatically flips the image upside down because you are printing, the thread is gonna be, be going upside down um, <coughs> or 
turn it obviously upside down. Um, you can adjust how far you want this to move. So arrows, like push it all the way over. If you want it higher on the hat, if you want it lower on the hat. This image is like, this design is like basically height wise, like you can, you can only go a little bit up and down. I've used all the design space I can. Uh, if you want to recenter, you obviously just hit this. And there's some other stuff in here um, that um, you can play with. I usually do um, 600 um, SPM. Um, and that's it. When you're ready to go, um, when you're ready to go, kind of make sure your hat is flat. Everything's set. Um, I put a new bobbin in there, so it might not catch, which is awesome because I'll, I get to show you something if it doesn't. Um, so that's like, all right, here's my example. So it's like leaning a little bit for me, and I don't really like that. So I'm going to put it to the right just a bit. Um, that just makes me feel a little bit better. All right, and then you press lock, and that button goes green, and you're ready. Hit it, and the machine goes.